What about the required lengths of the beard? Because there are many people with different lengths and, and it's rather confusing when you look outside and you think, oh, what should I be doing? What did the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, do? As far as the length of the beard is concerned, the scholars are divided, they have different opinions. And as for what is the length of the beard, there are two opinions. One group of scholars say that because the hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, one number seven, book of dress, hadith number 5892 says, the Prophet said, do the opposite of what the pagans do. Keep the beard and trim your moustaches. So because the commandment is keep the beard, that means they say that it should be kept. That's it. And the second hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number 7, book of death, hadith number 5893 says that cut your moustaches short and grow the beard. So the first group of scholars say grow the beard means keep on growing. You should not touch it. Keep the beard means let it be. Therefore, you should not at all Neither trim the beard, nothing at all. You should let it grow as much as possible. This is their view. But if you read, there is not a single Sai Hadith which speaks about the length of the beard of the Prophet. Not a single Sai Hadith. There's not a single Sai Hadith. But according to Sheikh Utaymi, he says that we understand when the Hadith says that keep the beard or grow the beard, it means you should leave it, you should not touch it and let the length be as much as possible. And if someone shaves it as a haram, and someone trims it to the size of a fist, that is the other view, then it is makru. So this one group of scholars said, let it grow as much as possible. The other group of scholars, what they say, that the length of the beard should be one fist. As I mentioned earlier, there is no say hadith which speaks about the length of the beard of the Prophet. There is a hadith which is a zaif hadith or a maundu hadith. We say that the beard of the Prophet, it touched the chest, but that's a zaif or a maudu hadith, according to Shaykh Nasrud al Albani. There's a hadith mentioned in Sai Muslim, volume number four, hadith number 5789, where Jabir bin Samura, he says, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet had a thick beard. So there are many Sai hadith which say the Prophet had a thick beard, but doesn't mention the length of the beard. But this group of scholars, they say, that since the length of the beard is not mentioned, what we have to do is we have to look at how the Sahabas kept the beard. The length is not mentioned, so we have to look at the Sahaba because the Prophet said, if you don't find in my example, then look at the people around me in this generation, at the companions, Sahabas. And when we look at the Sahabas, we find several authentic hadith, more than 10 Sai hadith, which say that the Sahaba, they kept their beard at the length of one fist. And whatever was below the one fist, they trimmed the beard. Including Ibn Omar, may Allah be pleased with him, Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. All these sahabas which are very close to the Prophet, they trimmed the beard. Even those sahaba who narrated the same hadith, Ibn Omar, may Allah be pleased with him, hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number seven, book of death, hadith number 5892. Ibn Omar, may Allah be pleased with him, who narrated the hadith, the Prophet said that do opposite of what the pagans do. Keep the beard and trim your moustaches. Immediately after that, the hadith continues and says that whenever Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, used to go for Umrah and Hajj. After Umrah and Hajj, he used to catch the beard with his fist and whatever was below the fist, he used to cut it. So imagine those sahabas who narrated the hadith and all these sahabas, Ibn Umar, Ibn Abbas, Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with them all, they were staunch followers of the Sunnah of the Prophet. And they narrated the Hadith. When they narrate the Hadith of trimming the moustache and keeping the beard, growing the beard, they understood the way the Prophet wanted. So why did they trim the beard? If the view of the first group of scholars, they write that keep on growing. Growing means how to grow? The way the Prophet grew. And if there's no Hadith indicating his sayings or actions, then you look at the way the Sahabas did. That's the way how you analyze the Hadith. That is the reason Sheikh Nasrud al-Albani, he says that the right size of the beard should be the size of a fist. And he says, for example, that when we analyze the hadith, if it's present in the sayings, that is the best of the Prophet. If it's not, you look in the actions. If not in the actions, approval. If it's not there, you look in the lifestyle of the Sahaba. What did they say? What did they do? So we agree that what the Sahaba did was they followed the Prophet. And you don't find a single hadith, neither of the Prophet or neither of any of the Sahabas, we say 
that they did not trim the beard. There are more than 10 hadith which say that the sahabas, they trim the beard below the fist. If there was even a single hadith which says that this sahaba did not trim the beard at all, then it can be possible that both are right. Because there's not a single hadith on the other side saying that the sahaba never trimmed the beard, but there are no less than 10 say hadith which say that the sahaba is below the fist, they trim the beard. According to Sheikh Nasrud al-Bani, it is further to trim the beard below the fist. It is further. And anyone who keeps a beard more than the fist length, it is makru according to him. Makru, detestable. So this is a strong fatwa. In Bashir Nasrud al-Bani, he's very staunch. And I personally agree with his view because there is evidence in the lifestyle of the Saba. And he further says in his book, and he writes that why it should be the length of one fist. He said, besides the Sahabas, many examples we find who kept one fist and cut below one fist the beard. He gives the examples of many Salafi Salihin who had the beard the size of a fist and they trimmed the beard below the fist. Like, for example, an nakhil We have examples of Imam Malik, Imam Ibn Ibn Hanbal. All these great Salafi Salihin, they trimmed the beard below the fist. They quit it like that and they trimmed it below the fist. So, this is the view of the second group of scholars. And I agree more with the group of scholars, including Sheikh Nasrud al-Bani, that the right size is the size of the fist and the rest Allah alam.